to Fred's Guitars. This program features all different styles of guitar playing, from rock to jazz, from blues to folk, and classical music. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy the show. So the whole sequence would be... Okay, now we have a new chord here. Here is a B7 chord. I'm fingering this as I'm using my second finger on the fifth uh, string, second fret. First finger on the third string, first fret. And I'm using my pinky for the third fret on the second string. Sometimes you might see it with the uh, third finger added on the fourth string, but I play without that. So once again, where I'm hammering on the D chord, B7 chord, I'm starting it with an upstroke on that second string with the pinky, which is the seventh of the chord. And then I'm going to come down and play the bottom part of the chord and use an alternate stroke for that. And I usually don't go back to that pinky note and play it again with the pick, so it's upstroke on that pinky. Then I establish the chord by putting these two fingers there. Again, it's and the last two times I'll use two down strokes. And down, down. Okay, I'll play that whole section again from the beginning of here comes the sun section. to the A chord and just strum it again. And come up on the first string, fill chord, open, fill chord, second string, so it's another fill. Now I'm going to go where my first finger is on the second fret. I'm going to switch to my third finger there and come up with the pick and slide up two frets higher. Now this comes to that little riff part of the song. So it's A chord, up, fill, open, fill, second string, then up stroke when I change fingers, and then down stroke for the third fret on the second string, I had the second finger, and then open first string. So those first few notes is and when I get to this note, the note I'm sliding to, I'm going to try to accent by sliding into it rather hard. Now I'll take my third finger off, put my first finger on the second fret, keeping my second finger where it is. So once again, then lift him up, the first finger, and back, and then, so once again, let me show you that whole sequence once again. Now that it's to the first finger on the third string, I'm going to accent that note, accent the open string. second part of that little riff is keeping my second finger where it is, I play that note and I pull it off to the first finger on the fret low. That's a descendant slur. And I'm going to do the same thing on the third string, but start with the third finger. Slur into the first. See, I'm just picking it once and then slurring back. So the last four notes is... So the whole riff would be So the picking is what's important. I'm going to come up with an upstroke. 
down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. So the last two slurs, descended slurs, I'm going down with the pick. Okay, let's go over that whole last section right from the uh, from that A chord again. So let me try playing the uh, song from the intro up to that part so you can see how it looks. I'm going to do it very slow. first section of the song. Now there's different ways of playing it. If you're say playing in a band like the Beatles you might want to play just the guitar part that uh, that uh, was just played on the recording. Now a lot of times the uh, Here Comes the Sun part was That's all you hear on the recording. Now if you're playing it by yourself and you're not singing it and you want to do it as a guitar arrangement, I would play a lot of those notes as chords. So it would be like... And also the next part, the do-do-do-do part, a lot of times it's just like that on the recording. But a lot of people like to play that first note. Which sounds nice if you're doing a guitar arrangement. It would be nice to play that in. Uh, the last two times it's played in the song, they do play that note, but not in the first half of the song. So I'm trying to make that distinction that if you want to do it exactly the way it's done on the recording is one way, and if you want to do it as a guitar arrangement, which most people like to do, you'd want to do it a little bit differently. Okay. All right. So now we're up to the next section of the song. The next section of the song actually goes back to that little introduction, the little darling section of the song. Very similar. It's all the same up to this point. Now let me mention one more thing when you go to that E7 chord. You want to play that as what we call a crescendo, which you gradually want to get louder. It just sounds good, okay? So you might want to look into that. Little things like that that makes the song sound much better. And also, a lot of those melody notes, you want to play as smooth as possible. Let them ring as long as possible because that gives it a, a much better sound. 